All right, welcome to uh, this short video. I'm going to show you how to run MT4 MetaTrader 4 on Mac without parallels or VMware Fusion. Uh, or in fact, you don't even need to install Wine. All right, so you don't need Windows. You don't need um, any form of Windows. You don't need to have a, a, a lot of complicated download procedures. And and the main reason why you want to run Mac. I mean, MT4 natively on Mac is because uh, you're going to experience uh, a much faster trading experience without the need to interface, you know, through the virtual machine. So I've been conducting trading sessions in my trading group called the Binary Lab, um, basically on VMware Fusion, and I noticed that the ticks are always kind of slow. So uh, that actually makes it very difficult to trade the the one minute time frame, especially. So uh, this is going to make it a lot better. I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to do it. And uh, I've also put in the video description some ways that you, I mean, where you can download uh, the Mac MT4. And I also have uh, my Facebook link right there so you can easily click and contact me uh, if you wish to. If you're watching this on YouTube and, and you find that, hey, this is pretty cool and uh, I want to join, in, you want to join my trading group. So just click on that. Uh, it goes to my Facebook profile. Send me a message and let me know. Uh, in the meantime, what you want to do first is that you want to click on this link that you see right here is uh, forexpitmaker.com slash macmt4. Uh, that's going to take you directly to a demo account sign-up page to save you all the trouble you need. You need this demo account so that you can uh, actually, um, you know, basically get your, your your demo account. You need the demo account for this one. It, it works a little bit different. So country residents select uh, where you live, in my case in Singapore. And phone number, all right, here's, here's a tip. Um, uh, unless you want them to call you, I personally like to change one digit of my number. So it's not the actual number, I just change one digit of the number. And uh, you, you need to put down your email address as well. So if you think, if you're going to get a lot of spam, you, you, want, you may want to give them an email address that, that is dedicated for spam, such as this one that I have here. Uh, leverage, uh, it doesn't really matter. You can pick a high leverage one. You know, you pick the highest one if you want to. And investment amount, uh, just pick something small. It doesn't really matter, 5,000 or what. And ultimately, you know, if you don't agree to be contacted by uh, the staff of this company, just uh, uncheck this box. It's up to you, really. And open demo account. If you plan to trade for real, you know, you can, of course, um, you know, decide to uh, to give you real information and allow them to contact you. Right now, what I'm going to do is that I will take a screenshot of of this. I, I tend to do that a lot. And what's also good is that you may even want to uh, do a, a print uh, a print screen, like a print. And then what I do is that I'll change the destination to like a PDF. And actually, that's not such a good idea. I think I'll, I'll just I'll just do a screenshot. All right, I'll do a screenshot. And I'll promptly go to my, my desktop folder. All right, just to keep things fast, what I'm going to do is that I've already taken a screenshot. Uh, go to Platforms, now go to Mac MT4. And then you, you realize that you need to open an account before you can do this. So click on download uh, XM Mac and D4. It is quite a big file. So it's going to take a 2 megabytes, 8 megabytes actually. Uh, in the meantime, you know, this is where you can go to wherever you see your screen up. And I'll do this. I'll read that to XM. Personally, have a a folder that's specifically for all my trading stuff. So I'm just going to keep organized. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to right click and copy the file. Actually, I'm going to drag it. I'll copy that, and I'll paste it. All right. I'm going to check back here. Two minutes left. Actually, yeah, I may have I may have one of this. If I have not deleted it yet, 
I have it on my computer, so it's not... All right, I, I do have it. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this one and install it. I'm going to show you exactly how to install it and what, what you need to do and how to get it up and running. Also, how to put indicators in. So you just need to drag this one into this one. And it's uh, 470 megabytes. Actually, this is, this is like the second time I'm doing it. Uh, the first time, what happened was that when I loaded up, the, the price live feed wasn't working. So I had to, I had to, uh, I, I thought it was done, but when I restarted the application, it was fine. So if, it, if the price feed doesn't work and you've logged in using the demo data that you created, then you want to reboot or restart the, the program, all right, or both. Just try restarting the program first, and if it doesn't work out, you will basically go and reboot the computer and try it again. Almost done. All right, okay, perfect. So that's done. What I need to do now is I'm going to go to my applications folder, um, and it's going to show right at the bottom because it's X, right? So uh, click open. It prompts you a question. And then give it a couple of moments to pop up on the screen. All right, let's see what happened. Okay, so this one's not running, or the window, I don't see it. Okay, so I'm actually going to quit this thing, and I'm going to restart. Okay, so if you have a problem like that, just, just restart, no big deal. There you go. All right, MetaTrader. Okay, so this is where you need to you need to uh, put in the account data. Um, usually, what a lot of people do is that you open an account, and you notice that that doesn't work. So it doesn't work that way. So you still have to open an account. That's why it's inescapable. You have to log in using the data that you registered with. Um, so this time, you know, I'm going to go to my login details. I'm going to bring that up and type it in. Notice that this time, because it's actually integrated with Mac, uh, I can just bring this around the place and just type it in. It's kind of cool, right? It's a lot more lightweight in the system also. And uh, that'll do it. All right. And then it's gonna get you're gonna get a chime sound. All right, that's a chime sound right there, and it's available. Okay, so incoming mail. Then the prices are running. All right, the prices should be running. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to load your custom indicators in. Okay, so uh, you're probably wondering how, and you know what's a good thing? You don't even need to restart this like in the PC version. So what we do is that you go to your applications folder, locate XM, right click show package contents, click on drive C, go to program files. This is actually like a Windows emulator, okay? Uh, go to XMMT4, and now um, you would have 
Okay, in, in, in my trading group, we've got some special indicators that we use for binary options trading. And I'm going to I'm going to basically show you how to do that, uh, how to install it. It's the same if you, even if you if you bought some other uh, FX indicator somewhere and you want to run it or EA or something. It's the same thing. So let me get that one sorted out and I'll show you how to do it. All right. Notice that in here we have the files and so go to MQ4 and there's a lot of things here. All right. So go to indicator. Both sides, all right, and click indicators and click indicators here. All right, so what you want to do now is that you want to select all this stuff, right click and copy and paste, okay? Just uh, if you cannot paste, you change the view to the icon view and paste, okay? So you have everything pasted, uh, it's right in there, okay? Now hit the back button. Now we're going to go back here to the source folder. We've done indicators. The next thing we're going to do is the templates. Okay, so for the templates, we're going to get back button here as well. Click on templates. And then now we're going to uh, drag and drop, or actually like copy and paste it right here. Okay, so now when we're inside MT4, we, all we need to do is hit templates and it's already showing up. Uh, and and boom, you know, in this case, you know, I've got my whole setup right there, and you know, I'm ready to do some binary options trading. All right, uh, and if you're if you're if you want to be part of my binary options trading group, uh, send me a message on Facebook. Uh, if you just happen to be stumbling across this video on YouTube, I'll tell you exactly how to how to trade all these stuff, and and uh, and you know, we, well, you know, we, we're basically making about like three to seven percent every single day of the week. All right, so. Uh, that's all for this video. Thanks for paying attention, and uh, I hope this helps you out. If you get stuck in any of the steps, just watch this again. Don't forget, you can even do this full screen. Look at how awesome that is, okay? So you can do this full screen. You can trade full screen, and uh, I wish you good trading. Goodbye.